Salut, metalheads! Welcome to Metal Academics and a very special battle. Yeah, we're gonna have a French 80s metal scene battle. Picked. Talk about niche, which is a French word, by the way. Oh. Um, yes. Picked by Zach over at Metal School. Uh, so we had recently a video uh, where he put together uh, Iron Maiden versus Aria, which is super cool. And uh, so we were kind of emailing back and forth and he's doing a French 80s band called Sortilege and uh, presented the challenge to us to pick the challenger, which uh, we've chosen as Blaspheme Soul. Wow. So. This is gonna be very, um, very new territory for me as I have not listened to these bands prior to this uh, battle. I don't know Sortilege, I know Blasphème either. Uh, and I think the metal scene in France, please contradict me obviously if I'm wrong, but the metal scene in France, as opposed to the one in Finland, uh, is rather not very extensive, was not in the 80s and is not today in terms of homegrown successes, let's say. Maybe, yeah, maybe the French don't listen so much. I think they metal. had a, a pretty vibrant 80s metal scene, a lot of focus on like more kind of thrashy stuff. So they yeah, had these IDX, bands like Killers. Uh, killers. And, um, but there is a bit of this uh, new new wave of British uh, heavy metal that we're going to hear um, today. Influencing them. Yeah, and I think it, they just never kind of broke out, but there is some awesome uh, stuff that uh, I've been... Oh, it doesn't have anything to say about the quality of the French sound, what I'm commenting. It's just like the French general public mm. didn't seem to embrace this genre, these homegrown bands, as much as other countries did with their metal scene in that period and even to this day. Um, but again, you guys who listen and know your French metal, correct me, I'm definitely up for, for correction in this yeah. category. So let's hear uh, Zach's pick for uh, Sortilege and uh, then we'll move on to our, uh, our challenger. Hey, Metal Academics, it's Zach from Metal School again, and I'm here with another obscure 80s metal band for you. <laughs> this time, it's French 80s metal band Sortilege. These guys came together in 1981 and only put out two albums, each with French and English versions. I'm recommending the track Majesty from their first album, Metamorphosis. Check it out. All right. Actually, as a fun fact, maybe we'll talk about this before, but the band put first the French version of, uh, of this album, and then they recorded later an English version. But uh, the comments go, and it's not my take, but the comments in the uh, French heavy metal scene is that Zouya, the, the um, lead singer, is not particularly good at English. Mm. So they, uh, the production downplay the voice on the <laughs> English tracks, right? So it's always better, even if you don't know French, to actually listen to the French version of this album just because the production is better in terms of the uh, voice... Um, yeah, voice place in the song, mm. probably because of that reason. So uh, this comes from 1984, I want to say, um, just double checking, 84, Metamorphose. Metamorphose, and, yeah, yeah. I think we're going to see the album cover for the uh, the English version. And uh, they, I believe, are mounting a, uh, a comeback, and I'm sure Zach has more uh, about oh, that on his yeah. uh, on his channel that we'll link to wherever. Maybe it's the Latin spirit, but as we said in our review of Angra, as we talked about in our review of Shaman, there's so many infights in this battle that it's very difficult to uh, to clear out. Like, who's the owner of the band? Is the Vogue? Is the lead two guitars? Like, the comeback is going to be uh, primarily the lead singer. Mm. who uh, basically reformed most of the band with other personnel. So uh, what it is, I put some of their newer footage spliced in with uh, a music video from the song Metamorphose. So it's not the same, but uh, uh, if you have epilepsy <laughs> or have a tendency <laughs> towards it, do not watch this video. It's like overlaid and I thought it gave an 80s vibe. So let's hear it without further ado. Sword Ledge, Majeste. <laughs>
overload. Mm. Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> awesome. People used to uh, love this band, particularly because of the vocal, the lead vocal, uh, Zouy, uh, Christian Gostin. But in my opinion, one of the best things about this is the lead guitar. Yeah. I really love uh, Stéphane Dumont. He's the lead guitar. There are two guitars, but he's uh, he's the lead guy and the composer. Um, and he is fantastic. I really, really think he's there up with the best. Again, only two albums. This is the this is the tragedy yeah. of uh, Sortilège. And, and this was their uh, debut album, I should know. Yeah. And just to be very clear, that was the the '84 song, uh, not live. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, and uh, it's funny because only after two. I, again, I dug into this because of the episode, and I know I was just curious about the French metal scene, and I was reading um, quite a bit about about this band. I know that Zach is going to dig really into the details, of, and there's lots of in and outs. But um, just as a little preview, um, the uh, the band recorded their two albums, the only two albums they have in Germany, because there was no real good music producer for heavy metal in mm. France at the time. So they recorded this with uh, producers in Germany. And they were very much inspired by the British heavy metal uh, of the time. Remember, this is 1984. So with Judah, Pri Judas Priest and Iron Maiden, both bands released an album in 1984, and uh, Sorte was very much inspired by this. But in one of the interviews that I read, uh, final point I'll say, um, Zuyo, the the main uh, lead singer, the, the lead singer said that they decided not to pursue this any further because there was no support from the French public. And so they quit music hmm. altogether. Uh, Zoui became a gym instructor or a sports <laughs> instructor. He looks pretty fit, by the yeah. way, uh, these days. And uh, Stéphane uh, Dumont moved to the United States, to Los Angeles, and he is a music producer. Hmm. Um, was is I don't know exactly what's going on right now. But anyway, so basically the band stopped doing music in general, they just did not pursue this any further. Yeah, it seems like there was this kind of uh, yeah push from the French 80s metal bands, particularly around the mid-1980s. And uh, so in finding a challenger, um, there's this big, the, probably the most well-known 80s uh, French band is Trust. Um, and they do a good cover of uh, Antisocial mm. by, uh, or no, Anthrax covered. Anti or is it the other way around? No, Anthrax covered. Yeah, so... Uh, but they didn't really fit. I wanted to get something that has that that new wave of British heavy metal <laughs> sound. And so uh, there was a probably I narrowed down to two. There was Titan, which is an awesome uh, band. But I'm going with this uh, Blaspheme, if I'm saying that right. Um, and their sophomore album, Desire de Vampire. Desire <laughs> of the Vampire. <laughs> I better um, put it in English. <laughs> an awesome album, man. Awesome album from uh, beginning to end. And. Uh, we're going to hear the lead-off track, Soul, and uh, I can also recommend the last track, which is Desire de Vampire. It's uh, awesome, but a bit too big of a, a bit too long of a lead-up. So, it fits well with the, with this yeah. as a battle. So let's hear Soul, and uh, the footage is also uh, watch out if you have epilepsy. A mashup. <laughs> it's uh, it's it's the music video that's really poor quality, and then some live footage that uh, wasn't the whole song. So I put them together. See how it goes, but uh, yeah. So, so that means alone, Here just is for anyone. Oh, I thought it meant soul. No, no, it means uh, alone. <laughs> the so, more you know. Yeah. All right, let's hear it.
Very cool. Blasphem. He sings about uh, going to the um, the quarter of the ladies ah. uh, and seeking companionship there, but in the end, you are alone. <laughs> uh, this is the quintessential message of All the right. song. That's the last image. <laughs> Maybe before we vote, let's get Zach's vote. Yeah, curious. And he's preparing something in depth about uh, Sotilej, right? Yeah, it should be out by the time this is launched. Damn, you guys sure aren't making this decision an easy one. Blaspheme is pretty great too, I gotta say, but I'm gonna go with Sortilage here. Majesty is just epic, and I love the vocals. Plus, I really like that sort of almost bluesy bridge section. If you want to find out more about Sortilage and their imminent comeback, check out my video about them over on my channel. Thanks again, Metal Academics. Thanks, Zach. That's uh, really um, interesting, and I'm curious to see the episode on Sortilege because it's a very, uh, very niche uh, and under underexplored area. Before you go, I'm, Say. I'm casting my vote for Soul. So you're going to be the tiebreaker. Yeah. Because it's probably no surprise that Zach picked this one <laughs> and picked the challenger. So uh, I, I think my, my justification would be, and this may be controversial to some of the French, uh, me as someone who doesn't know a lick of French, uh, I felt that the, that, uh, well, first of all, I like the, um, the guitars. The repetitive riffs. Okay. Soul, <laughs> you like soul, the guitars. Soul, it's pretty clear. Soul is, is a much more straightforward song. I'd, I'd say that uh, Majesty is much more complex and there's crazy guitar. Um, and Zach's right. The, the bluesy bridge is nice. Soul, definitely more straightforward. But I would give the edge to Soul because I think the French lyrics work better. I, you know, French is a beautiful language, right? I think it works with the song better to my uh, Anglo ears. Um, not so much in, in the chorus, but um, I think in, in the verses, I, th I feel like, oh, sounds French. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, for that reason, I'm gonna go for for, for blasphem. Yeah, what about you? This uh, tiebreaker. It's a tiebreaker and it's a terrible role uh, because it's, <laughs> it's an even. Since I already listened to uh, Majesté to mm -hmm. the Sortilège uh, a couple of times because uh, I knew this was going to be the contender. Um, so I'm more familiar with that one, and I'm not familiar with the the soul with the blasphem song. And I will say like this, uh, just to uh, you know, amp the suspense. Uh, uh, <laughs> I really love the guitars in the um, Majesté. Uh, these are my favorite parts. And again, I think I said it before. I repeat, uh, Stefan's uh, guitars are the thing that makes Sotilej really amazing, in my opinion. Uh, really fantastic. I think the uh, rhythm section in Blasphem, of which I know nothing, I don't know any name of the, uh, of the band members, Blasphem's uh, rhythm section is really solid and it really is this Anglo-Saxon powerhouse. Uh, so uh, you can replace the, English, uh, the French lyrics with English and this would really hold a high standard. And I actually really like the Blasphem uh, lead singer as well. It uh, didn't um, didn't find any fault. Gotta love the vest white T-shirt combo. Also, I think it's also <laughs> the question. Yeah, it's kind of laying laying the burden on you. The way you uh, kind of emphasize the '80s feeling for Blasphem, but the contemporary feeling for Sortilège. So it's you know like I'm biased. Um, but I'm actually going to go with Blasphem as well. <laughs> yeah, Zach, I'm sorry, uh, but Michael picked really a very good uh, battle companion for this uh, for this one. Not because I don't like Majesté, but simply because I prefer the um, overall feeling, the cohesion. Let's say the cohesion uh, of the um, Blasphem uh, song. Yeah. I'm curious to hear, definitely put your vote in the comments, but I'm curious to hear from some uh, some some Frenchies out there who uh, maybe are more familiar with this. Uh, uh, this Majesty is more political as well. Again, I'm not going to go into the lyrics of any more than to say like this is more political. I was checking out again the, the French forms before this episode and people say, oh, Majesty, Majesty, this reminds me of Macron, like this, uh, <laughs> you know, powers to be this Jupiterian uh, immense authority and so on. So it's more political. What is uh, blasphemy is more human, this yeah, human element. and it's uh, definitely, if you like that, um, check out that album. Is, is, uh, Desire de Vampire is, is solid from 
from beginning, and I would say especially my favorite track is actually the uh, the end track when the vampire comes out of the coffin. Right? Oh my god! <laughs> so it's like a, it's it's a story. It's about, a concept. Yeah, it's a kind of a concept album of um, I don't know. I can't, don't understand French, but from what I read, it is you know the vampire is coming out of the coffin, but it, <laughs> the apex is uh, is at that 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 end song, and uh, really there's a. There's not really a miss on that album, so cool. Uh, it's kind a of a hidden out. gem, I would say. 1985, yeah, 85, right? Their My second God. album. So uh, pretty cool. Cool French, French 80s. Exactly. Beautiful. That's exactly new to me. New to discover. Let us know if there are any French people who have more of a background information about the whole scene. Let us know in the comments, as this is a rather new to us. Um, you know, phenomenon. And um, the only other French band I know is Heavenly, mm -hmm. but they do sing in English. Mm. Uh, so if there is any other band, uh, or Heavenly is one of them, if you have any favors, or if there's any, any other band that sings power metal, epic metal, melodic metal in French, and you want to just, you know, Check let us know Titan. in the comments. Titan is one good contender. Mm -hmm. You won't find them on Spotify, though. But. French. Uh, anyway, uh, maybe Anyways. I'm prejudiced. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Thanks, Zach, for setting up this battle. And Don't forget to check out the Metal School um, episode in depth on Sortilège and probably the entire metal scene uh, in France in the mid-80s. But until then... May your swords stay sharp. And your quest and in glory. Mm -hmm.